Hi, I'm Jerome Henry. I'm wireless instructor here at Fastlane. I'm CCIE Wireless, and I'm also teaching the CCNP wireless classes, which there are four of them. And today I would like to talk to you about the security class, which is the IAUWES class. This security class is fascinating because if you talk about wireless security, you're not only talking about how to pre prevent hackers from getting into your network, you are talking about an another level, which is how do you integrate wireless into your enterprise security strategy? And this is what this class does. So of course, we are covering the wireless aspect of security, all the 802.1x authentication mechanisms, you'll know them by heart after taking this class. But also then, once you have the wireless aspect covered, we'll extend the security beyond the wireless side and integrate into the wired infrastructure. So you will learn how to integrate wireless access and protecting access into the NAC, NAM, CANAC, all these security tools that you may have already in your network, you'll learn how to integrate those with wireless users. Before getting to that class, you want to get prepared. Of course, one thing you need to know is wireless fundamentals. So you may want to have taken the CCNA wireless class or have that kind of level so that you're not surprised about how packets, frames work, etc. And you'll see that in these fundamentals, some security aspects are covered. So you want to know those aspects. Also, you may want to read a little bit more about infrastructure security. I see a lot of people coming to those classes, they have pure wireless background and no wired background. And they are very surprised when we talk about NAM, CANAC, and all those toys, because they're not tools they've been using before. So you need to be curious a little bit and read the blueprints on Cisco.com and read about those items, even if it's only a presentation that you see on Cisco website about what those items are, so that when you get to the class, you have a good understanding of what kind of tools we'll be using, what they are, what they do, and why we integrate those in the wireless network. You know, wireless security may look simple once you understood the 802.1x e processes, but there is a lot more to security than just that. A great way to achieve as much as you can during the class time is to read around the topics. So if you read about 802.1x, go to forums in the evening and try to see the questions people have. And very likely you'll see that you'll be surprised by the answers or you won't have the answer yourself. And that's a great way to come back next day with more questions about items you did the day before. Because if you just listen to the instructor, everything will be crystal clear. But then when you'll get questions or more complex topics uh, after the class, you may not be able to perform or answer exactly because you just didn't understand 100% of how it worked. Also, you'll be working on a very expensive gear. Uh, we're bringing to the class um, NAC, CANAC, NAM, those are very expensive software. And you also have controllers and laptops, etc. So, and for all those, you have labs. So make the most of your class and try to do those labs again and again. Try to introduce variations, talk to instructor, ask for new setups, and try to see what differences it makes. That will allow you to master those tools in a more efficient way. I often get the question, do I need to take a class? Why don't I read just you know, the self-references from Cisco Press or any other book of that kind? Well, security is one of those things where you can't have it wrong. It's right or it does not work. And if it's not right, it may not work and you may spend hours, days, weeks troubleshooting without never finding why it didn't work in the first place. And the symptoms might not be purely about you know, wireless authentication failing or authorization not be granted. It may be about something else. Your laptop not getting an IP address or your laptop being disconnecting every now and then. So you know, security is one of these things where you really need to have someone helping you out on those um, aspects where you're getting blocked by something. This is something you'll see in the CCNP wireless classes and in CCIE wireless class as well. Um, experience from someone who knows how things can interact well and what trap to avoid is something which is crucial. It's not only about configuring a client, configuring a controller and configuring an ACS or some other tools behind. It's also knowing why things don't work when they look properly configured. In which cases you need this or that configuration. In which case that configuration never works and you have to do it this or that way. And all this is brought to you by an exchange between you, the other students in the class and your instructor. A return of experience by which you'll get all those shortcuts that will avoid you to fall in those traps and waste time afterwards.